welcome back to another weekly vlog. It is Monday morning and I was up at 6 a.m. What time is it now? Eight? Ish. Yeah, eight. Bright and early to start the week. On a good note, we are going shooting. I've got this gorgeous little, you'll see. Maybe we'll put a little snippet here now so you can see the outfit. Listen to me as I slow it down. Can you yours if you want it? But, um, we're very bougie today but we've got a busy week ahead lots to organize lots to move it's all go 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 so i thought i would be very good and start a weekly vlog on a monday and end it on a sunday and see what happens guys it is half ten and we are being very productive aren't we we are <laughs> we've shot two looks nearly a third we're doing well lots of campaigns done <laughs> this is new us. new year new us just a bit late to the game this year we started January don't count. Yeah, January don't count. Just February onwards. Yeah. It's all good. But I feel like I might go over at six o'clock every morning. Feels good, doesn't it? A little bit, yeah. I'm gonna feel, probably need a nap. I was gonna say, I think you want to the job. Yeah, probably need a nap. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Um, so this just sets them in place so they don't move. It's like concrete, it's fat. And then I'm literally just gonna put <laughs> some powder over the brow bone there just to like mattify it make it really quite sleek and then under the brow bone i'm gonna go in with my favorite dior i like to put a bit of highlight here because it really like accentuates that brow bone so there you have it that's kind of how i do my brows i actually haven't done under my eye i never know whether to leave it like this i always feel quite naked you guys let me know so i'm gonna do the waterline You know, I always think I, pre I prefer it with the I suit a uh, black waterline. <sighs> then I always bring out the peachy tones in my cheeks and put it under my eyes. Just the corner bit, not all the way like here. I'm such a mascara lover. I think I put about four coats on. My eyelashes are see-through, so I tend to put a lot on. It makes such a difference. I don't I find it so hard to not pull those faces when I do my makeup. I'm gonna do the bottom eyelash. So let me know if you like the before or the after. So that is it with it under the eye. Let me know if you like it before or after. I think I have quite long eyelashes underneath my eyes, so I find it just really opens them up. But let me know, because I always do get to the point where I'm about to do it and I'm like, should I leave it? Just feel a little bit naked without it, you know? Um, but yeah, that is how I do the brows in my under eye. So I actually, I should have mentioned this before I started doing this, I have not even combed my hair this morning. I literally got out of bed and did this. <laughs> um, so I'm about to do the hair, but that is the makeup today. Okay, hair is done. I've just whacked it up in a high ponytail and done like a little pin around the bottle, bubble. But yeah, these are hair extensions, by the way, guys. Do you want to say hi? Am I in that? You are in it. <laughs> but I've blacked an inch. But let me show you the extensions. Here's one I made earlier. Um, I just whacked them upside down and then put it in a ponytail. So it is a very little while later. Very little while. Um, we've been out shooting. I've done lots of work today. And I'm coming back to you now because it is organization time. You guys know I'm moving out in, I think, two weeks' time. And I am about to cut down the majority of my wardrobe. You will find a lot of my wardrobe on Reliked. So if you see anything that you want, um, head to that. It used to be called eBlog as it's now called Reliked. So I'm going to get the coming tomorrow morning. So I'm going to try and get rid. Basically, you should see the state of this room. It's got my stuff in. It's got Georgia's stuff in. This flat has turned into a bomb site look. So we've got, this is all Georgia's. This is what I was shooting in a haul yesterday. If you're a YouTuber, you will know this happens. But uh, there's just, I'm gonna get rid of all these, I think. And then out here. I I yeah. Here she is. I need to be ruthless. Absolutely ruthless here. If you're a size three or four, it's your lucky day. As much as I love all these shoes, I really just don't wear them. And they are beautiful and for the odd occasion, they probably would be perfect. But for every day, like I always just wear a nude, plain nude shoe and plain black shoe. Like let me show you the most worn shoes. So these are my most worn, you can tell <laughs> by the bottoms of them, but these are my most worn shoes. So actually these are Dorothy Perkins. I always tell you guys, Dorothy Perkins is literally the best place to get shoes from for affordable prices. But because I always turn to these ones, I want to just invest maybe in a designer pair of nude heels, a designer pair of black heels, and that is it. Like literally, like no more. Okay, I'm doing well. This is the carnage that is. <laughs> I've got rid of one, got another bag. Honestly, there's so much stuff in here that I just generally do not ever wear. So we're having a big decluttering. George is decluttering hers as well. Yay! <laughs> we're doing well. Guys, I just had to show you my belt drawer. This is my belt drawer. I reckon Georgia got about 400 belts. <laughs> oh my god. 
That's insane. We are just at, we are just at the net again. Same old. The ham and chips. It's our little in between shoot and break. It's nice weather today though. We're not freezing, so it's all good. I went out last weekend. Had a right old night out. Didn't you know good last weekend? Went out hard. This weekend I was like, I want to book in the cinema, a Sunday roast, <laughs> the complete opposite. But this is our little setup here. Just saying to Georgia, I feel like I'm a classy woman these days. This really appeals to me. Yeah. <laughs> Very appealing. I want to come for Christmas Day one, one day. Yeah, to one, yeah. I nearly dunked my chips in my tea then. The last supper. Georgia is leaving me tomorrow. I mean, she's been with me three months to the day. I'm, yeah, we've been through a roller coaster. I'm not actually Georgia's been through a roller coaster. I was just thinking of <laughs> I came along with for the ride. A lot has happened, a lot has gone down, but she's been here for three months. How do you feel? New, new, new keys, new flat. I'm linking that airbed down below, it's took well. Wow. Because I had, I had, I went from five of the first version and that's an actual newer one. I said so. So that's a different one, so that's done really well compared to the other one. So I'll link that one down below because I think that's done well. But um, I have two weeks more in my flat and then I'm off, so I'm out on the 10th, which is in 10 days ish, more or less. A lot, a lot happening, a lot of And then we've got Mexico. We're Very excited. We're going on one big adventure. We might crash and burn some more along the way, but I think we'll just get off and get again. But yeah, I'll show you. I'll do them a little. We'll give them a little house tour. You can, we can do an MTV crib when you get there. But this is our situation. This evening we've just ordered what we ordered. Bread. <laughs> a full-on roast and then a <laughs> bread. How nice is this place, though? It's really cute. What is it? The Arrogant Arms. I think it's called the no Aragon House. I think it's a a B and B as well. What have you learned in the past three months? Words of wisdom. What do you think? Can't get worse. We've got what we got here. Probably don't need the red one. I reckon we can complete. Oh, 100%. So this is what we've, we've got. Some potatoes, some chicken. I like the size of this Yorkshire pudding. <laughs> Happy days. Okay, we've moved on to dessert. Do you want to talk through yours? Well, I had to change a few things on the menu. You really did. <laughs> Chocolate, it came with raspberry sauce, so that's weird, right? Raspberry, sorbet, and it's got like little things in it, I like that. It's got like, chocolate chips. So basically I asked for it without everything and with ice cream. I've got sticky toffee pudding. It's a good shout. Good morning guys. I thought I'd have a little sit down and have a little chit chat with you. Tell you where everything is at because like everything's going a little bit crazy at the moment. George is moving out today. You should see the state of the hallway at the moment. There is ba bags and bags everywhere. I'll show you in a minute. My skin is terrible today. You probably won't see, but like I am so hormonally, I'm having a very hormonal day. You know those days where you just want to curl up on the couch with a hot water bottle? It is one of them, but we are pushing through. Um, but yeah, I've got 10 days left in this flat. 10 days and then we are out. I feel really excited about it. It's gonna be good, but um, I'll show you a bit around. I'm gonna try on some clothes actually in a minute. I have, um, I've ordered some stuff. I feel like January, sh the shops were so bad. Like I really, really found it difficult to find anything that I liked. But every time I do this and um, I try them on for you guys, you guys seem to like it. So let me know in the comments down below if you like what outfit you like, because I don't know. I'm gonna try them on for you anyway, because I think some of you might like them. 
don't ever usually do this. I usually like, like everything that I order. I just think the shops were really struggling in January. I just couldn't find anything that I liked. Anyway, let me show you. So this is what the wall is looking like now. Like obviously all this is a lot of empty. I still think I'm gonna get rid of a lot of stuff, you know? Um, this stuff I'm getting rid of. These are all like, I've just put like all my tech stuff. I need to go through this lot basically still. I still don't want this many. I feel like I want to cut it down even more. But um, it's so weird to have this back room back. It's kind of empty now. Georgia's vacated. This is full of Georgia stuff. So I'm going to get back in there tonight. But this is <laughs> Georgia's situation in the hallway. You got stuff outside as well? Nah. Didn't put it outside in the end. We've had one meltdown this morning. You look nice and tanned. I didn't tan last night. Yeah, you look a really nice colour on this. Yeah. yeah, lovely. The blue, I think blue is a nice colour. Um, had my one meltdown this morning. And oh yeah, you did. <laughs> Hopefully we're done now. <laughs> nah, I reckon you've got a good two more in you. You reckon? Yeah. Well, today? Yeah. Today. <laughs> <laughs> you going to come visit me in Paris? I mean, that's a silly question, isn't it? <laughs> but yeah, let me show you what I have on the rail, guys. So let's have a little try-on session. I have some new and sunglasses to share with you. I came to the conclusion that a good sunglass really makes an outfit. I've got the first outfit on, by the way. This is from Collusion. Don't go on ASOS. I don't really enjoy ASOS anymore. It just, I feel like it's got too many vibes going on for it to be an enjoyable shop but the thing that i do look sometimes for on asos is a brand called collusion i really enjoy this stuff it's marketed quite young but i like some of the stuff on there like they've got some good they've got good blazers anyway the first is a fendi fendi sunglasses i wanted these for a little while look how cool they are um, I feel like everyone just knows what sunglass suits them. I always suit an aviator shape. Um, so, oh, gorgeous these. I love, 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 love. So these are the first set. They're Fendi. These ones, I don't know whether they're a bit gimmicky or not. Like, will I wear them? I don't know. So they're from Bottega. I've got a Bottega box. Um, I'm a bit obsessed with green, but is it a phase? I think it might be a face, so potentially I could be sending them back. I got these from um, a place called Shade Station. They seem to be the most reasonable place to get sunglasses. I don't know, I've never shopped from them before, but it was very efficient. Kind of love these. Really love these. These are very extra, but um, I feel like I suit these more. These are more me, I think. What do we think? Just thought I'd show you my little sunglass unboxing. <laughs> okay, firstly, these sunglasses with this jacket. I've never really enjoyed like long sleeved jackets at the moment. Um, I've got this body from, H I, these are actually swimsuits from H&M. You've probably noticed them a lot. I wear them as like bodies, but they give you good cleavage, so that's why I wear them. Anyway, um, this is the kind of, it reminds me of like the 80s. I feel like this is gonna be like Marmite. Some people are gonna love it, some people are gonna hate it. Then I would just pair it with a Louis Vuitton, but this look, overall, really enjoying it. Very cool kind of vibe, kind of loving it. It's something a bit different from my usual kind of vibe, but I'm, I'm experimenting at the moment, trying to find out new ways to dress, which hopefully you're enjoying. So this is like a really chocolatey brown coat, kind of oversized vibes. And then I've just paired it with some of these kind of boots. I found um, the best ones are these. These are from Pretty Little Thing. I kind of liked the vibe. Um, a Jacquemus bag, Dior belt, and then this is just a... Oh my god, I need to tell you about these jeans. 501 Levi jeans. If you want the perfect straight jean, these are so good. Um, I wear 23 um, and regular length, I think. So I'll leave them linked down below. Holland Cooper roll neck. I have these... Roll necks from Holland Cooper in every shade. I just love them. But yeah, this is just a gorgeous, kind of easy everyday brown coat. So if your colour is chocolatey brown, then this kind of works really well. And then it goes really na nice with the Jacquemus vibes going on. Okay, so I've heard that orange is the new green. Um, this look is so gorgeous. I've got some Prada trainers on. I know, flats. And some wide leg trousers from ASOS. 
a um, little bag, little Kristen Dior belt. Again, the Holland Cooper sleeveless knit underneath, which I really love the sleeveless knit for this time of year. And an orange coat. Love the pop of colour. Dior sunglasses. But um, yeah, this is just a really fun everyday kind of vibe. Okay, so this is a really oversized, like, look at the sleeves. I kind of love the fit of it. And then I've just paired it with all cream underneath, but kind of like the vibe. It's a really chunky knit. It's a very muted like gray bra can't really describe the color <laughs> but um if you're looking for an oversized coat if you like the oversized vibe this is definitely kind of a cool fit i like it look how cool that is <laughs> okay so this is like a very greeny khaki color it goes really nice with a gucci bag I like the tones of it just got the holland cooper Leaf Fendi sunglasses and then Everlane jeans, which I love as well. I switch my two favorite jean brands are Everlane and Levi's, and I like them because of the bum fit. They both do great, like tight bums, um, like not a saggy ass on them. A jean is just not the one. So those are my two favorite brands. And these are some Stradivarius boots, but this is definitely a kind of cool, relaxed kind of vibe. Okay, I told you orange was the new black. <laughs> I just love a pop of orange. I loved the pop of green, and now I'm loving the pop of orange. Um, it reminds you of like a Hermes kind of bag. This outfit though, kind of liking it. I love like a split trouser with a stiletto. Look how gorgeous that looks. Um, yeah, I just got dagger heels on, you know, standard as you do. But this is such a cute look. Versace sunglasses, YSL bag, and then, um, yeah, these split leggings. Naked do really good split leggings. That's where I get most of mine from. Okay, this jacket. I am ob. Sestive. There's a brand that I keep going on about. It's called Source Unknown. Love, love, love that brand. Go check it out. It's got some really cool original pieces. This is a jacket from Source Unknown. It's got this gorgeous, like, it looks even cooler crisscrossed. I'll tie it up in a minute. But this look, I am loving it. It's kind of a mix between, it's like boyfriend vibes, but sexy, I think. I like to do the oversized look with like a heel. And still keep it quite feminine with the bottom half, but like then oversize it on the top. This um, Louis Vuitton goes perfectly with the boots, the, the jacket. Oh, I just, this is such a cute look at the moment. Let me tie it up for you. So this is it fastened and I just love the shape of it. It's like really strong shoulder and then it snitches in at the waist. It's definitely a silhouette that is very on trend at the moment. Okay, have you ever seen a brighter... <laughs> I'm gonna call this neon green, but kind of digging the vibes. It's kind of cool if you want like a standout blazer I loved the shape of it. That's what attracted me to it like the long sleeves cinches in at waist It's the kind of shape of a blazer. I'm liking at the moment Um, Yeah, Gucci sunglasses got the Levi jeans on again with some ankle boots like I'm liking a loose jean into a boot kind of vibe but yeah <laughs> let me know if neon is your thing okay so this is another collision trouser suit and kind of enjoying the vibe i didn't realize they were kind of cropped but um yeah they're regular length but i think you can get them long and petite five foot four in reference i got a regular um did i i think so i'll leave it linked down below <laughs> but yeah this is the kind of vibe let me chuck that a little bit um Kind of loving it. What do we think? Like I'm loving liking an oversized kind of suit vibe. This one I kind of love. The jacket you've seen before. It's a weekday one. I got it via ASOS. I got it size medium, so it's oversized. Blah blah. blah. We, we've talked through this before, but the new in bits are the shoes. I love them. They're kind of like this fur booty thing but they are so comfy so snug and i really liked the kind of i think they remind me of the chanel ones and um, that's why i love them you had all furry boots on as well so the kind of teddy material on them i think it's kind of in at the moment georgia has finally left the building i love how um i thought she was moving in for 11 days <laughs> <laughs> she stayed for three months um but everything she's got her own flat sorted now and i have 10 days left here um so i'm just gonna pack it up really i have got rid of so much stuff and i feel like i just want to get rid of more so if you head to ebloggers it's now called relight there's gonna be so much of my stuff even my favorite pair of trousers i think are on there because i think i accidentally put them in the bag <laughs> Very sad about that, but if you've got them, they're Zara, they're black flares, I love them. 
very upset. Anyway, I have some items from Stradivarius, um, which I ordered. <laughs> I was like, I don't know if to keep them or not. These trainers I absolutely love. Look at them. How vibey are they? I just thought they'd look so cool with like a split legging or like a legging and a sock. Like, kind of like with what I have on right now. You get the vibe. Anyway, I mean, if I had the energy, I'd try them on for you. But I just don't like, is this really, oh, I hate myself for saying this, but I just don't enjoy the Stradivarius written on the label. My nails are dyed, by the way, so I don't know. If they, I don't understand River Island does this too. I don't want River Island written on my clothes. I don't want Stradivarius written on my clothes. <laughs> Is that bad? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Because I would think I'd keep them. It has Stradivarius vintage sportwear written on it. I don't even think it can at least give someone the option to like be able to take it off. You know what I mean? I haven't decided on them. Love the fit. Love the style. It's just the logo I don't like. Okay, so these I kind of liked. They were a cowboy Shred, um, they were like a beautiful cowboy kind of vibe. I liked that it was like a sleek cowboy. So we've got them. I'll, I'll try them on in a, in a minute. I'm gonna just try them on with this hoodie CBA. Getting into outfits again after I've just heaved down a load of bags into a car for Georgia. I'm not sure I really do this justice with the hoodie and the leggings, but these are the, the cowboy boots on. What do you think? I kind of like them. They come up a nice height, I think, on the leg. Where's my hat? Okay, I've also got a Baker Boy hat. George told me Baker Boy hats are back. I'm not entirely sure that I'm convinced. I feel like they're a bit 2019, but love 2019. Wish I could go back there. <laughs> so, who knows? Okay, let me try this on. Okay, maybe the hair needs to be forwards. I'm brushed. <laughs> I'm definitely brushed. Okay, this is a hat. This is also my natural hair, if you're wondering where the rest of it's gone. Um, what do we think? Are Baker Boy hats back? I don't know. I think... Yeah, let, the back. Let's say the back. I'm enjoying it. <laughs> so that one is from Stradivarius. I think it's quite hard to find a good Baker Boy hat. I've got one from PLT. Um, which was actually a nice one, but I think it sold out. And then, God, why is it so dusty? Is it dusty? Then this, I uh, know, oh it's just, it's a, I think it's a lighting. I'm not sure why it's covered in dust, but hey ho. Anyhow, look how pale I am. I definitely need to fake tan in this situation. I've actually got fake tan to show you guys. Does anyone else find that fake tan dries your skin out something silly? So I found this one, it's called Madame La La Tan and it has a built-in hydrate hydrator which I found really interesting because I wanted like a hydrating tan. Tan Perfector Instant Bronzer Streak Free Natural Fade Built In Hydrator. Because, oh my gosh, I cannot tell you, every time I fake tan, my skin just really goes really, really dry. Anyway, I think I'm probably, I think I'm probably going to leave this vlog here. Um, I think I've rambled for far too much. Anyway, I am going to take this makeup off. Do a little workout, and then I'll probably catch up with you guys tomorrow. I'm probably going to see George's new flat, so... A little sneak peek.